Church part four. Church part four. Brethren, over the years, since from the beginning of creation, after angels was created by God, it has been the desire of the devil. It has been the desire of the enemy to overthrow God. Yes, it has been the plan of Satan to, to, to rule and reign over God who created everything. Yes, it has been the most, the most desire. Yes, Satan has become more desperate to, to overthrow God right from heaven before she was thrown to earth. You know this. So, brethren, let me tell you. Satan have tried and tried and tried. And Satan have used all ways and means to destroy God. And to destroy everything about God. Because Satan wants to have dominion over everything. But let me tell you. The Elohim, King of kings and Lord of lords. The creator of heaven and earth. The one who designed everything. The greatest architecture. Yes, the man who created mountains and everything, greatest designer. Yes, the man who created heaven and earth. Yes, he's still alive and he will forever be the king of kings and lord of lords. Brethren, let me tell you this. If you join occultism today, you will see that occult people have a days of meeting. Not a day, days of meeting. Occult people used to go to meeting. They used to have meeting from time to time. So if you think going to church is waste of time and there is no sense of going to church, so you are going to join occultism, you will see that they have a meeting day. Occult people has a meeting days, not a day. Occult people meet from time to time. And they go to perform rituals because they believe that they get the source of their protection. They get source of their wealth. They get source of their everything from the, their occult background. They believe in Satan. That's why they have decided to worship Satan and to do everything that Satan is asking them to do. They are prospering, yes. Things are working for the occult people, yes. It, it seems like everything worked together for good to those that join occultism. Yes, I have seen it. We have testified about it. Yes. Brethren, let me tell you this. It seems like the fetish priests and the fetish priestess, they have become more honorable than pastors, prophets, and men of God. Have you realized this? All these are the doings and the work of the enemy just to overthrow, just to destroy, just to place her seat on the top of the church. So, when you go on social media today, when you listen to news, it's always about the pastors, it's always about churches, it's always about pastors, it's always about churches. You see, some people have decided to stand up against Bible. And they are trying to do anything, everything possible to condemn Bible, to subdue, to subject Bible. But that can't be possible, you know. Because Bible has been the greatest book. It's the first book. And every syllable, every law, anything that we see on this earth today was derived from the word of God. So there is no way you can condemn the word of God. That's why Pope is trying Yes, to, to remove all Bibles and replace it with their um, books. Brethren, I'm, I'm, I'm being bothered. I'm being worried. From, from the look of things, the way I see things, I could see people are perishing. People are ignoring their salvation. People are rejecting the gift, the precious gift, the wonderful gift of our Lord Jesus Christ. People are denying Jesus Christ in their lives. All because of money and all because of riches. All because of worldly knowledge. What is the meaning of university? University means universal knowledge. The knowledge of the world. 
So if we are graduate and if we are a, a professor, mayor, and a, whoever you are, any PAD or credential certificate that you have, all of them are worldly knowledge. And the, the most great and precious thing is that whatever syllabus that they are teaching, any lecture that you, any book that you are reading was derived from the word of God. That is the most greatest thing. So, brethren, listen to me. It has become the desire of the enemy, Satan. When you read Isaiah, you will see it in Isaiah. When you search in scriptures, you will see it in scriptures. Brethren, my spirit is troubled. Brethren, I'm going through so many pain and agony to see the way people are perishing. It's like people doesn't give a damn. They don't care about the gospel. They don't care about God. They don't care about their salvation. Yes, if I gain the wealth today and die, that is fine. But Bible says, woe unto those who will gain the whole world and lose their souls. Because in this world, you are going to live up to 200 years. You are going to live up to 300 years. But when you get to hell, you are going to spend eternity. And you will live there forever and ever, everlasting and everlasting. So hell is not a place that God want anyone to go there he prepared that place god elohim king of kings prepared her for for satan and all her agents why do you want to join them so it has become a crusade it has become a rally it has become a retreat it has become a teaching it has become desire of the devil to deceive the whole world and take them to hell with her that's why Jesus Christ came and died on the cross for us. For us to see and see through. For us to hear and understand. For us to discover all the tactics, the tricks of the enemy. But it seems like Christians, we are blind. So blind with money. We are blind. So blind with lust. So because of this, the gospel has become useless. People doesn't have time to listen to the word of God anymore. So because of this, there has been so many lecturers out there preaching and lecturing people that it's only fools that go to church. And it's only fools that waste their time at church. You see what the enemy is doing? Let me tell you this. Situation demands flexibility. Situations demands flexibilities. So a situation demands flexibility. When we get to the bridge, we will cross. When we get to the bridge, we will cross. You see, the enemy is trying to turn the whole world upside down with science and technology. So because of this, it's a waste of time to go and sit in the temple, in sanctuary, in synagogue, in the church. To feel the presence of God. So because of this, I will prefer to worship God on Zoom. I will prefer to worship God on YouTube. I will prefer to worship God on Facebook. I will prefer to worship God on social media. So today, people doesn't want to enter into church premises. It's like it's becoming an abomination. It's becoming useless. Now it has become that it's only fools that go to church. This is the picture the enemy want to fix in the mind of people in the world. Because eh, why should I waste my time to go and sit in synagogue, in temple, in church premises that I'm going to serve God? Whereas I can pay my tithe on, uh, um, on phone. Now we want to do e-church because we are having e-levy. Because of e-levy, we want to have e-church, e-offering, E Titan and E movement. So everything is going to be E E E E E E E electronic car technology and science movement in the world. Now we are going to have technology pills. We are going to have E medication. So everything is becoming E E E E electronics, technology, science. And you think who is masterminder of this? Is it not devil? Is it not Satan? But we see E things as development. The world is evolving. The world is evolving. And the transformation of the world, the, the, the evolvement of the world 
is going to be consumed by technology and science. I have come up with this message. Brethren, why are you not paying attention? Brethren, why are you not listening? Brethren, why are you rejecting ah, the free gift of salvation which Jesus Christ has given unto us? This morning it seems like I'm getting mad. Yes, it seems like I'm getting crazy here. Yeah, it seems like something is happening. Some fire is burning in my heart. Some fire is burning in my soul. Some fire is burning in my system. Because the way I see people becoming blind, the way people are accepting blindness to reality, ah, it's getting me crazy. So you think money is everything. Yes, you think work, 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 work is everything. Let me tell you something. The day you die, the day your breath will be taken from you, the day you give, you will give up your last breath and you die, that day you will realize that you have make, you have make, you have made a greatest mistake which can be corrected after you have been put in grave. Accept Jesus Christ today. Have time to serve God. Have time to go to church. Go to church. Go to church. Enter into synagogue. Enter into temple. Enter into sanctuary. Go to church. Have time. Have time and fellowship with God. Before the introduction of one world religion, before we are going, before we will face, we will face challenges to enter into synagogue. Before they will introduce and implement one world religion and force us not to enter into our church premises, our shelter, our halls, before that law will come, have time with God. Brethren, they are using um, e-church service. Yes, e-church service. Yes, just to dominate our mind and heart. That when that time comes, you have already taken that. You have already accepted that. This is Messenger Morrison. It's me, Messenger Morrison. Yes, you can WhatsApp me, you can Telegram me, and you can call me on plus 233-247-70-1364. Plus 233-247-70-1364. WhatsApp me. Telegram me, call me. Before these people will introduce one world religion, before they will bring the enforcement of one world religion, before they will command us not to worship God, before the world, the, the leaders, the, 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 the antichrist, the, the, the children of the serpent and the children of the dragon will bring out this law that nobody should go to church to use Bible. Nobody should go to church and pray. Only they are going to enforce us to use their one world religion and agenda on us. Let's make a time with God at this time that we have opportunity. At this time that we have the access at this time that we have the chance let's make time with god why money work money work so even some pastors are into this crusade preaching and telling people that it's waste of time to go to church it's waste of time to sit in church premises let me tell you situation demands flexibility and when we get to that bridge, we will cross it. So before the situation comes, situation of one world religion, before we will be stopped, we will be forced to stop to go to church premises, before the enforcement of religion will come, please make time with God. Make sure you will listen to good gospel. Make sure you will listen to sermons that will prepare your soul for heaven. You see, I came out. I, I, I had a vision, I had a revelation, I saw moon turn into blood and moon turn to fire. So I told Ghanaians that a whole lot of disaster, a whole lot of fire issues, a whole lot of car crashing people and people dying. I saw blood being shed here in Ghana, in the world and fire consuming people and people's property in the world. All these are the signs of the wrath of God. All these are the signs of the wrath of God because we have rejected him. You see, the more that we are preaching the message, the more that people are enrolling themselves in weekend lectures. 
You go to work from Monday to Friday. Friday evening you go for lectures. Saturday you go for lectures. Sunday you go for lectures and work. And Monday you continue with it. So Satan doesn't want you to have time with God. Let me tell you, even if you join awkward people, the awkward people have a meeting days. Ask them if I'm lying. Awkward people have a meeting days. And those who love to serve small gods, like fetish priests and priestess, ask them, they have time that they meet with the gods and perform their sacrifices and rituals over there. So if we're Christian and you believe, you get your protection. If we're Christian and you believe, you get your healings and deliverance. If we're Christian and you believe in the divine provision of our Lord, God Almighty. If you believe that whatever you have today is not by your wisdom, it's not by your might, by the power of God. It's God who has provided whatever you have today. Then please make time with God. Make time with God before the darkness, dark ages come. The dark ages for Christendom. The dark ages for Christianity. The dark age for time with God is about to hit the world. And that's why my spirit, my soul, my heart is troubling. Oh my God. Brethren, have time with God. Have time with God. Make sure you find yourself in church premises. According to Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25. Hebrews 10 25 it said. When you see the last day is approaching. Then make sure frequently. Frequently you meet at church. Not meeting at home. Not meeting in your room. Not, not in your office, but in church premises. The building that they have been consecrated, the building that have been sanctified, the building that have been set apart for God, the house of God. Make time with God in the house of God. And stop being uh, uh, Zoom. Always you want us to be on Zoom. Always you want us to be on Facebook and social media. Do you know the owners though, who control social media? Do you know the owners and those who control social media? So you think praying on Zoom, praying on um, social media will help. Hey, you people don't know what the enemy is doing. And you people don't know what Satan is capable of doing. And you people don't know what is happening in the spiritual realm. Hey, my mind is brewing. Make time with God. Listen to me, brethren. If you die today, if you perish here today, and you will end up in Hades and hell, then you will realize you have made unchangeable mistake you have made the most greatest mistake which can be corrected forever and ever everlasting and everlasting when you get to hell this is time there is more time for you today there is still time for you today it's an opportunity time for you right now that you are listening to this message to give your life to jesus christ so wherever that you are well be a robber be a murderer be a weak okay a masturbation and whatever addicted anything that has been uh, 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 captured your soul anything that you have been addicted with it's not too late the love of God, the love of Jesus. There is a reason why the Spirit of God is burning in me today that for you to give your life to Christ. So just say this after me. Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that I am a sinner and I don't even deserve the opportunity that you have given me today. Yes, continue to say this after me. Jesus, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Jesus, today I accept you as my Lord and Savior. And I declare and I proclaim that Jesus, you are God. Say it after me. Jesus, you are God. Say this after me. Jesus, you are the son of the living God. Yes, repeat after me. Jesus, you are the son of the living God. Today, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I surrender my whole being unto you today. Jesus, I swear and I promise that from today henceforth, when you call me in the morning, when you call me in the noon, when you call me in the night and midnight, Father, I shall respond. So God, help me. So Holy Spirit, be with me. Jesus, forgive me my sins. Renew my spirit within me. Jesus, I love you. And today, be my Lord. Jesus, be 
a Lord over my soul. Repeat it after me. Jesus, be a Lord over my soul. And Jesus, be a Lord over my spirit. Jesus, be a Lord over my body. And take absolute control over my life. And if you have repeat this after me from today, yes, look for Act of Salvation Ministry International. And also get in touch with me, Messenger Morrison or Sumeni Morrison. My number is plus 233-247-701364. Plus 233-247-701364. One three six four. I'm waiting for your WhatsApp. I'm waiting for your call. I'm waiting for your Telegram. Do as much as you can and have a contact with me. Let me tell you, when you join occultism, you will have a meeting day. When you join small gods, fetish priests and priestess, you will have a, 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 a meeting day. So it's better you have a meeting day with God. So make sure if we are Saturday Sabbatarian. Make sure you make a time with God on Saturdays. If we're Sunday Sabbatarian, make sure you make a time with God on Sunday. And stop going to school. Stop going to lectures on Sunday or Saturdays. If we're Saturday Sabbatarian, don't go. Go to church. Have a time with God. If we're Sunday Sabbatarian, don't go to any lectures, any work in school. Make sure you have time with God on Sunday. Any day that you have set apart to be your Sabbath day, make time with God. Because the dark ages time, yes, the dark ages time for Christendom, for Christianity is about to hit the world. God bless you.